Hello, Peterson Toscano here in the wilds of Maine. Do you ever have hero fantasies? I mean, you know, like when you imagine something bad's gonna happen, like someone might get mugged and you see yourself as the hero who goes and saves the day, or there might be a burning building and you're the one that runs into the building to save a person or a baby, especially a baby or a pet. I suffer from hero fantasies at times, I admit it. I have for years, ever since I was like a teenager. And after I have a hero fantasy, I usually feel pretty good about myself, like I accomplished something. Well, it's so weird living in America right now because we hear a lot about gun violence and shootings, like mass shootings in places that I always thought of as safe places, like schools or lecture halls or places of worship and lately i don't know my imagination has been hacked by the news and i'll sit in a lecture hall either to hear a talk or about to speak and suddenly i have a fantasy of a shooter breaking in and it's just so real and it's so vivid and like scary. I mean, it really just disturbs and disrupts me. But what is so weird about it too is in those moments, I actually have fantasies, but not hero fantasies. I have victim fantasies. And I imagine what it's like to be a victim of one of those shootings. And I think how awful it is that you know, all that's going on with all the shootings and all of the ridiculous debate um, about it, as if there's a debate. Obviously, something has to be done. I don't know what all the answers are, of course. But how sad and tragic that I'm not the only one. I'm sure there's a whole generation of Americans whose brains have been hacked. And the fantasies that we have are not hero fantasies. And for that reason, I think for sure we need to act to get our brains back.